What an amazing performance. Wow, great job, guys. <laughs> so now we'd like to um, have a few words said by first Sudha Aunty and then Chempa Gandhi. So if Sudha Aunty could come on the stage, we'd love to hear from her. Om Sadguru Bhyo Namo Namaha. Om Namah Shivaya. Radhe Krishna, everybody. Congratulations. You did it. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Today, we are seeing magic happening again on stage. Um, just by ourselves, exclusively, we can do nothing. But when we have everyone, you, the audience, the marvelous audience who understands these stories, who understands the philosophical meaning behind the story, so well explained by Jumuna, selective words, which all comes from her most illustrious and most knowledgeable mother, Urmila Mata. She sits there quietly beside me with the fund of knowledge that she has shared with every one of us as we were growing up. I mean, I stay on course thinking about her, about the things she has said about Krishna, about the reality of the universe, the reality of our existence, how we consider this body to be the all enclosing thing in our living life day to day, but which is really perishable. Every part of us is perishable, except that soul within us, which remembers not only this lifetime, but many lifetimes before. God knows how many lifetimes we have come back to Earth. I kind of really like to think Earth is beautiful because it makes us think about God in heaven. But He is within us too. He's never not around us. So performances like this, Arangetrams, and also recitals that bring back the stories from the epics, that bring back the stories of how it was before. We probably were there also at that time. Think about it, Krita Yoga, Treta Yoga, Dwapara Yoga, and now Kali Yoga. How many yogas have we also come and gone? We don't know. Maya shrouds all our abilities. Maya doesn't allow us to think about how we were before, how much we have advanced or gone down. But we think this is reality. And when we come to programs like this, in which with the support of this marvelous orchestra, we cannot say we are doing it. How can we? The energy comes from above. The energy, he's the soul for all of us. Mata and Pita, Guru and Devam, one source, and from that one source, every time he breathes in, he takes away all that he's given us. Every time he breathes out, he creates a million more universes. So we're only instruments who stand here, who try to think about his various leelas and his master mind that he stays behind everything and says, do this now, do that now. You think these children could have accomplished this just by their own hard work? No. He's the energy behind it. So today, if all of you have seen this brilliant recital by these two children, they haven't had any sleep. Yesterday, they started around 10, and they danced all day. I came at 12.30 from Boston, and they were already dancing, so I watched them in, on FaceTime and they were dancing and they danced and they danced and at night it was almost 12 when we went home, midnight. And she, once I was just lying there and her auntie was giving her some physiotherapy, physical therapy to stretch, stretch her muscles and things like that. And I watched her and I said, tomorrow you'll be dancing like this never happened. 
that you're not tired at all. Auntie, I'm so exhausted. I said, no, that's just your mind telling you you're exhausted. Tomorrow you're going to be up there on that stage dancing like you never did before. You know, and that's what happens. We think we are doing it, but we are not. Jamuna, you brought all these marvelous pieces that I used to dance in the 50s and 60s when my master taught me and worked with me as, and create, made me think about creating new things and how to do it and showed me the method just by example. He would say, you want to do it this way? Okay, find the story behind it and do it. And I did the same thing for Jamuna, since she, I know her since she was seven. And she's one of the most prized disciples, I wouldn't say of me, but of Krishna, <laughs> yes. And uh, Krishna has kept us together for a reason. And so, who knows, we will probably find that amazing source together at some point in time. <laughs> like we have not already found it, but, you know, <laughs> but we hope to find it again. For the audience that are present here, all I can say is above and beyond all this hard work that has gone into it, there is not words that can say how I feel today as I stand before you. I'm thrilled. I'm more thrilled because I was here for the previous one of Rupa's, the previous Arangetram. I never thought I'd be here. And today also I didn't think I'd be here, but Krishna draws me back again and again to North Carolina. <laughs> I wonder why that's because of her, you know. But there's much more that Jamuna has done after learning whatever little I could share with her. And she keeps growing larger and larger every time I see her because to me, she's like Radharani. And I feel, I feel telling her that, I, I tell her that all the time. And uh, I know that she'll continue to regale you all. Please support as much as you can. The Padma Dance Academy is here. Send your children. Let them all learn about Krishna. Let them learn about Shiva. Let them learn about Parvati, Ardhana, Ardhana Rishwara. Shiva, Shakti, separated to our eyes, like our two eyes. But they are one. The third eye of his says it's all one. The infinity. That's only one. We are one. Even in our old self, sometimes you find yourself like a female, you know, giving way to all the despondency and all the negativity and all the despair, which shouldn't be there. And at times when nobody else can help, this mother in you rises up and faces any kind of adversity. So Ardhanari Ishwara is us too. The soul knows. Everybody's soul knows. So there is a lot of uh, maya in the world today. There are people perishing in one end of the world. People are losing things. Everywhere things are being destroyed and remade and, you know, um, this plaster of Paris things, these buildings, these huge, huge buildings we see. The body houses a wonderful soul which feeds from the highest soul possible, the highest consciousness that is within us. Let us keep our five faculties open to receive the knowledge that He's pouring into us every minute of the day. Let's not let go of it. Let's be happy together. Let's smile together. Let's spread the name of Lord Krishna, the name of Lord Shiva, the name of God, the name of that consciousness that everyone should know, your children should know. It's not the television, it's not the game shows, it's not what we read about in the papers. Those are all there, yeah, they'll come and go. It's like going in a train, going for a destination. You see so many things on the way, you know. But this is a continuous journey. Let the children know they are here for a special reason. Children need to be nurtured. And they'll keep on bothering you like she was being bothered yesterday by little um, Mancha's brother. He kept saying, Mom, Mom, Mom. She says, let us talk. We are trying to, you know, and Raghav kept saying, Mom, play that song, play that song. He wanted to do this Bhangada rock. I said, OK, let's just play. Children are children. Uh, but my guru always says, when older people, the elders and children ask you something, stop what you're doing and look into what they need. It takes a split second to please them. And to 
please Krishna, it takes less than that. So let's all together say, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And congratulations to Jamuna, the wonderful orchestra, and the two beautiful children, Mansa and Rajvi. Both of them were fantastic. They danced their hearts out. And I know they're very tired, but they will not show it after this. They will be ready to go for another performance again. So, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Krishna, Om Shambho Mahadeva, Om Ganesha, Om Sadguru Bhyonamo Maha. To all the elders in the audience, my pranam. I'm very, very happy today. There were moments when I was also feeling, you know, this distance and uh, uh, all these things that are happening should not happen because every now and then God is giving you a chance to come and partake in something so sweet, so divine and so beautiful. And I hope this continues forever and forever. Radhe Krishna. God bless. Thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you for being such a beautiful audience. Give yourself a big hand. Yes, thank you. The audience, actually, they say sometimes is more important <laughs> because without an audience, there is no presentation, right? So yeah, thank you for being an amazing audience. And I just want to thank Sudanti for opening up this world for me, the world of the heart, because like she said, in the world around us, there are so many disturbances, so many things always going on, so many fires to put out. <laughs> but inside the heart, there is music, there is song, there is dance, there is joy, there is connection. And that's the world that Auntie has opened up for me. And I started learning from her when I was seven, but actually as young as two or three, I was watching her and her daughters and her students dance at the temple in Detroit. And my heart was immediately pulled towards them. And from as early as I can remember, this is the life I wanted to live. I wanted to live a life of dance and song and music for the pleasure of the Lord in the temple. And so thank you, all of you, for creating that world with me. And I think we might be ready for the next item. The next item is very intense. It is the grand finale item, the Thalana. And like Auntie said, these girls have astounded me with their perseverance and their stamina and their dedication in general. I actually had emergency surgery last week. And so I had to miss actually a lot of rehearsals with them. But they were undeterred. They kept practicing. Gopal was with them. Gayatri was with them. And they had each other. So nothing stops them. And so, yeah, it's just, for me, it's astounding and incredible to watch them just dance and dance and dance and always smiling, always ready to keep dancing. And so I think that was our, our MCs here. We can, we can move on with the show. They were the ones who told me that we needed to speak after the Ardhanarishwara. So I'm under orders right now. <laughs> <laughs> 